Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at browser cookies. So occasionally I get asked about cookies. It seems like a lot of people don't know exactly what they are and there's some misconceptions. So let's take a closer look. So a web cookie or browser cookie is a bit of information stored on your computer associated with the website that you're currently visiting. So a classic example is a weather website. The first time you go to the website, it may ask you where you live and then shows you your local weather. But it stores that bit of information on your computer and the next time you visit the website, instead of asking where you live, it simply retrieves that bit of information from your computer and it already knows what weather to show you. Now it's your computer and your browser that controls this information. So for instance, this weather site can only get bits of information that are associated with that weather site. It cannot get bits of information stored from other websites. So you go to a second weather website and it has no idea what location you're in because it doesn't have access to that information. Your browser and your computer is not going to send it to the second website. So here we are in Safari. To view your browser cookies, just go to Safari Preferences and under there click on Security and then click Show Cookies. This brings up a list of all of the cookies that your browser is currently storing. Again, these are things that are stored on your computer. You can look through them and see the website and also the name of the cookie and contents. So a lot of this won't mean much unless you're a programmer. So let's say we start here with no cookies at all stored. We're going to go to a website, a weather one. When we go there, we can see some cookies have been added by that website. Now, none of these seem to give us any information. They're probably telling us things like uh, that uh, we visited the website for the first time um, and so we're not a new visitor to it. If we go and type in a zip code here, it'll give us the weather for that zip code. Now we go back to preferences and we notice there's a new one here named RC and we look here we can see there's the zip code built into it. So there are a lot of misconceptions around cookies. For instance, some people think they're used by spammers. Other people think they're parts of viruses or malware. Uh, people think that they are used to generate browser pop-ups and others think that they're only used for advertising. Well, that's all not true. Most popular websites like Google, Yahoo, news websites, Apple.com all use browser cookies to enhance the user experience. What they are used for is to manage sessions and also to remember your preferences. So for instance, if you go to a shopping website and you tell the site what sort of clothing you're looking for, what sizes you are, uh, what colors you like, things like that, it may remember them and give you suggestions at future times. It also may look at your progress through the site, remembering things like items in your shopping cart and other preferences for going through the store. And some sites use it for other things. For instance, my JustSolitaire.com site uses it to store games. So you could actually be in the middle of a Solitaire game, leave the website and return and your cards will be just where you left them. Now there is an interesting case of third party cookies. See when you go to a website, you may not just be at that website. For instance, there may be a YouTube video embedded in that website. There may be an advertisement served by another company. Uh, there may be images that are also served from another company. So there could be cookies stored not just by the website you're visiting but by content used on other servers. So for instance an advertiser may actually see that you're at a web page about shoes and may then remember that and show you an ad about shoes even when you're shopping at another site. You have control over this. In Safari Preferences under Security you can set it to accept cookies always, never, or only from sites you visit, which means that third party cookies will not be saved. Only cookies from the actual website that you're on will be saved in your browser. I recommend having your browser set to always accept cookies or only for websites that you visit. Having it set to never means that many websites may not work and others will be severely crippled. Even having it set to only for websites you visit could hamper a lot of websites as they rely on multiple servers to put all the content up on the screen. So there's a look at cookies for those of you who are wondering. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.